What you're hearing is an AI rendering of Tucker Carlson's voice. The voices in this video are AI renderings of statements made by Fox News hosts as released through the Dominion Voting Systems lawsuit. The most prominent Fox News stars and executives privately mocked election lies while promoting them publicly. That whole narrative that Sidney was pushing, I did not believe it for one second. The machine ran an algorithm that shaved votes from Trump and awarded them to Biden. Nobody liked Dominion voting systems. Nobody. The software is absurd. I've been all in trying to find the machine fraud, and we found it. We have all the evidence. Sydney is a complete nut. No one will work with her. We have computer evidence of hundreds of thousands of votes being injected into the computer systems. Ditto with Rudy. Dominion notifies yeah. you, you call off the county, and then you start doing ballots like this. <laughs> the Republican Accountability Project fired up some uh, AI renderings of the things the Fox News hosts were saying in private about the election versus what they were saying on the air. And it's pretty damn devastating, but also so is this. Today's settlement of $787,500,000 represents vindication and accountability. Lies have consequences. The truth does not know red or blue. Uh, Fox has agreed to pay $787 million to settle Dominion's defamation lawsuit. That is coming officially from the Wall Street Journal. The settlement then avoids a trial on allegations. Fox hoax and guests amplified uh, claims around the voting technology behind the 2020 election. I guess uh, props Neil Cavuto for at least mentioning it on air. But what it does do is it opens up Fox News to then not tell their viewers about the lies that they were actually telling over and over, which of course allows them to go right back to sowing more presumptive seeds of doubt in our election system. In the past several election cycles, we, we've had this myth called fact checkers that will weigh in and say, oh, this, you know, this candidate was lying uh, or, or using falsehoods in this debate and that a candidate was telling the objective truth. And really it's the subjectivity of objective truth that we fight over already. And so my fear is that somehow government or Democrats or those that are more aligned with the idea of technology having an intellectual role in our lives will say, oh, well, we have to hand over the objective truth to AI because they're the only ones that don't have partisanship in their truth, in their objectivity. And the moment that happens, it becomes weaponized. Ah, those damn fact checkers. Whenever you lie, someone comes and starts telling the truth about it. When are we going to get rid of those things? Of course, the other part about this is, is this assumption that AI is taking over these fact checking. It doesn't have to make sense. It just has to scare enough of their viewers. The viewers that wish they could go back to the good old days of alternative facts before those pesky fact checkers showed up. You did yes, not answer did. the question of why the president asked the White House press secretary to come out in front of the podium for the first time and utter a falsehood. Why did he do that? It undermines the credibility of the entire White House press office no, on doesn't. day don't one. Be so, don't be so overly dramatic about it, Chuck. What it, it, you're saying it's a falsehood, and they're giving Sean Spicer, our press secretary, gave alternative facts to that but the point remains alternative that there's facts and now after losing 787 million dollars will they now start telling the truth this is their statement we are pleased to have reached a settlement of our dispute with dominion voting systems we acknowledge the court's rulings find certain claims about dominion to be false this settlement reflects Fox's continued commitment to the highest journalistic standards. We are hopeful that our decision to resolve this dispute with Dominion amicably instead of the acrimony of a divisive trial allows the country to move forward from these issues. In other words, hell no. But is the Dominion CEO happy with the settlement? Fox has admitted to telling lies about Dominion that caused enormous damage to my company, our employees, and the customers that we serve. Nothing can ever make up for that. Throughout this process, we have sought accountability and believe the evidence brought to light through this case underscores the consequences of spreading lies. It may underscore the lies, but will their viewers ever really know? Will they know who lied? Will they know what they lied about specifically? And also, will they know why they lied? It doesn't really seem so.